what's wrong with you? <laughs> now I think, what can I learn from her? And I'd love us to think that even if we don't agree with everybody and everything that's said, we can respect people, learn from them, and grow in unity together. Grow in understanding, grow in love for one another, and grow in a unity around Jesus. Because this is what Jesus prayed for. He prayed that we may be one in order that the world will believe. And that's the purpose of this conference, is that the world will believe. spiritual leader of 80 million Anglicans around the world. He's the 105th Archbishop of Canterbury. He's also a great friend and uh, we're thrilled that Caroline is here. In all those three areas that we will be willing to change, to, to have a revolution that enables a renewal of prayer, reconciliation, and evangelism. We have to live for his cause to win. people's responses to him as he's walked into a room and lit up the room with his love and his warmth and his presence. And uh, I hope it's not um, inappropriate to say that he's become a real friend. Would you give a warm welcome to Carl Schoenberg. We are so thrilled and honoured to have you with us. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank you. Uh, 
Nikki and people that you uh, came to, to Austria to meet them, they were so thrilled. Thank you. Um, and I, I even uh, committed to great sin. I, I uh, encouraged them to hire a man from youth with a mission. <laughs> Thank you. We are fighting for that, but it, it looks well. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 